to call a meeting to order at two minutes after five. And we have Mr. Pelter here with us. Welcome. And are there any amendments to the agenda? Not that any, Not that any of us know about. So with that and three minutes ahead of schedule, we're going to address parking for events at Camp Mead. Mike Pelcher of Planetary Matters to attend. Action unlikely. Whatever that means. So well, what, what it means is I, I would like to start the discussion. You know? And oh no, that's that's fine. Yeah. And, and I've just full disclosure, Mike and I had a little conversation one day. We ran into each other and I just said, you know, we had had a discussion in a select board meeting just a little concern about parking when there were big events at Camp Meet and yeah. so that's what yeah, so we'd like to started. do something so. together as opposed to in the dark or you know correct like like full disclosure um, one thought that I have is it, we're gonna have the s'mores this again December 28th you know the weekend after mm -hmm. Christmas but before yep. New Year's and you know it's at night the Red Festival even though there's some parking on the road uh, parking wasn't an issue you know? Yeah, I drove. But you didn't have as many people there, probably. Uh, throughout the day, because it was such so right. long, but there was maybe 400, like, kind of steady for about four hours. Right. But versus, like, wasn't it 2,000 yeah. at least? No, maybe 1,000. Yeah, yeah. there were a lot of people. 1,000 for what? For the S'mores Fest. Yeah. And it was in a short time period, so that's why the cars were but all the way up to the... Well, and it was after dark, which had a whole... So you were, you're doing exactly. S'mores in the night time. On December 28th. Doing some what? Aren't you, you said you're having another similar yes. festival on the 28th? Yeah. yeah. So um, one of the things is being winter, you know, plowing becomes an issue and snow and stuff. We did figure out we actually added 100 spaces between uh, Sally's and the lawn at the uh, uh, White House, we call it, you know, the, yeah. two bed, the three bedroom mm -hmm. ranch. But those are kind of lawn parking which might work or might not in the winter so my I, I'm, I'm actually here for suggestions from you guys but one thought is uh, you know I drove down to what like the fire station and there's consolidate communications has a lot of parking there as well as uh, Hardigans and some you know in at the fire station you know, obviously that would be have to be, you know, parking attendants who be cold and run. So we probably find and some shuttles. group, huh? And shuttles then. And shuttles, yeah. So we find a shuttle, but we find some, you know, nonprofit group that maybe wants to charge five bucks or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. or, or whatever they would like to charge, yeah. and then kind of control the parking. But those areas are kind of, sort of paved in gravel, so uh, they're probably most likely going to be plowed anyhow as well as the estate building behind the uh, barracks. There's some uh, quite a bit of parking there, too. Will people really go there? Well, you, you have to direct them. I think you would, yeah. And I think, I think that's a great idea. I didn't even you think know, of that. So I, uh, that's all I came up with, you know, yeah. kind of snooping around. I think that would probably be enough. Plus, we've expanded parking a little bit mm -hmm. there. So like on the Red Hen side, you know, we have room for uh, just about 100 cars. The red hand side, meaning the left, as you're looking at the building. No, both well, he sides. just means on that side of the road. Both left and right, that side of the road. That's right. Because I find it's really sometimes hard to find a parking space just on a Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. Because the, you know, that's just people coming and going from right. Yeah. I think that I guess but, but my like employees are all parking there too. Yeah, my concern was only with the S'mores Fest was the um, the walking at night and you know there's a lot of families and kids and it was Absolutely. just Absolutely. You I know. Agree with you more. It, it, it's a concern, which that's why I'm here. One of, the, one of the ideas I had, and I don't know how, because it involved the state, so God only knows what they would say about this, but to not have parking on the north side of the road, that would do two things. It wouldn't constrict, you know, oh, the last yeah. time there were cars on both sides of the road parking, there were people yeah, walking back and forth in the side. dark. Yeah. You know, if you, if yeah, you just had parking on this town, that side of the road, help. if we were able to put up signs or the state yeah. was or however it worked, yeah. and just no parking on that side of the road, that might make it safer. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah. You have to be cones or something to direct. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, you're going to need, I mean, the whole key is going to have, be to have people there with flashlights telling people where to park. And it'll people be called the S'mores Stop instead of the, um, like, Mountaineers. Stop. Come out here and stop this some more stuff. The bus makes you up to take you. It would just be, as I said to you that day, that's, that's it would just be idea. horrendous if somebody got hit. And it's oh scary yeah. in the dark because there are people coming through who don't know what's going on. All they want to get is, yeah. is through and they're driving too fast. And, yeah. you know, if you had people out standing, in, and I, again, I don't know. Was there drinking at this morning? There was. You had alcohol available for yeah. purchase, right? Yeah. What, the st what the state is going to say about all this, but if you have people directing people where to park and then people out they in the road like with flashlights with reflective yeah. you know, jackets on, that's going to slow people down. And the whole idea is a, a walking light, right? You know, like a safe walking light. Right. right. Oh, yeah. You know, which is why you park on one side, right. not the other. Yeah, so then you'd have them walk on the north side. Is that what you're saying? You'd no, 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 no. I would just assume not have them walk across the road at all if we can. No, they, they could walk down the same side the cars are parked on. Like, Deb and I parked up there, too. We were, like, maybe halfway up the hill. Mm -hmm. And when you get out and you're fine, and then there's traffic coming, and you either hug right tight to a car or sneak in between the front because you can't walk on the other side next yeah, to yeah. the guardrail. Right. right. Well, our others going to So snow. if you did the thing like what Peter was saying, then you could have that, a walking lane down through there that would be safe. Wait a um, Part, create a space so the cars are away, enough away from the guardrail so that you can walk down inside the cars oh i out of the road oh you'd be, you'd so you'd be, have to have somebody we'd have to have you'd have to have cones or something yeah, and good. yes you know we'd be you might be you'll be parking in the road you'll be encroaching on the road a sure. little we bit would be, but yeah, compared quite to having in the road either way yeah. but compared to having cars parked on both sides of the road I, it, it's something you'd have to explore yeah. with a state. But if there's snow banks, if, it's the, if there are snow banks, you have less flexibility. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But well, if the snow banks and whatever, I mean, <coughs> they don't come in much on that guardrail. I mean, yeah. if they plow them down to them, the snow's over the top of them. So anyway. But you could lose a foot or two. But I was thinking right. one of the same things you are that the parking there at the White House. You know, you could get quite a bit of parking in there. Yeah, as long the as you get fifty cars there, easy. You know, yeah. if the ground if the ground freezes and yeah. you keep it plowed up, you know, and then I realize yeah. you got to pick your times when you move the snow off. But if you keep the snow off and the ground freezes, then you're golden. That would, yeah. That would. Uh, yeah. We might not want to do that. That's where the water line goes right from oh, the well at the White House. They didn't ah. bury it deep enough. <laughs> might wanna, you might want to pile up they some... Put it in a, they put it in an area where n no one's expected to plow the snow. Let's right. put it that way. Well, create, a berm, create a berm of snow over the water. <laughs> right. I'm just, yeah. I'm I'm just throwing out ideas, Mike. That's, That's why we're here. here. Ideas. Yeah. I didn't know you guys owned the White House. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, where, that's where the well is. That's, that's the well with all the water. Yeah. Okay. And that's the White House on the way to Waterbury. Next door. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and if you can get to the driveway of the White House, we already have like, like the bridge in front of mud, so you know that's a nice walking area. So you don't have to walk on the road there. Well, and there's there's another thing. If people are walking down, direct them to go that way, so they don't walk all the way down to the Red Hen in the road. Yeah, exactly. Just you know, just trying to think outside the box and make it safe. But I think having people there couple of people with reflective jackets and flashlights telling people where to park and what to do. It would yeah. slow down the traffic going through and it would uh, it'd just make things better. And we could even put like no parking along the, along the road, mm -hmm. both sides, to force people to the parking area. If you didn't have to do that, I mean that would, that would help. Yeah, would it, you know, whatever. I mean probably what you need to do is go talk to the state and see what the hell allow and then we'll support you in whatever uh, all right whatever you come up with I mean it's just the common goal it's just to make it safe I mean yeah I, those events are uh, those events are fabulous but it's a scary new thing for the town of Middlesex we're not I, I called the uh, Middlesex police barracks and you know for the bread yeah. festival it says hey there's probably you know I expect that if we're successful there's going to be lots of traffic and cars parked up and down the route too you know, if you have any concerns, let me know. I never heard back from them, so. Yeah. 
They're but pretty. They talk to the fish, the frogs, you know, this keep, way. Yeah. We want to keep everybody in the loop. So if someone has a great idea, then you know we can implement. That's all I got. I just wanted to like start the discussion, have you guys start thinking about it. Light bulb goes off in your head. You know, let me know. Say, hey, oh, I got the idea. How many how many parking spaces are across the river at the? There must be 25, 20 or twenty five parking spaces over there. Where? Yeah. Across the bridge at the the canoe pull out place. Twenty five. Oh no. Oh, no. no. It's I thought there were like. Twenty. Bridge. I think there were like five. Like five. Maybe five. Yeah. 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 Really? If you if you pull, I mean, on the if you pulled off to the side, I don't know. I don't think really. There are only no. five. Yeah. It's There's not many. Well, that is not worth it. Yeah. yeah no. What about sticks and stuff? Did you talk to them? Yeah. Yeah. And they, actually, they let people park there. Oh, they did? Okay. Uh, you know, for the s'mores yeah. dish. And, you know, we give them a heads up. Can people park here? Yeah. And they said, sure, no problem. Yeah. And people were actually kind of going in before they were even closed on Saturday. <laughs> and they, I went in and talked to them, and they said yeah. they were fine with it. Fine. You know, they were happy to support. Yeah. You know. Thanks. Right? So, yeah, so that's, you know, obviously an area to park. That's it. I just want to keep the conversation going and give you something. Well, it will be about. upon us before you know it. Yeah, yeah, it will be. Yeah. Well, if you have grandchildren in town, nice thing to know about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Know. Reserve. Who made Reserve your parking again? Place. <clears throat> you betcha. We're trying. We're trying to that contact. That was so funny. Guinness Book of World Records to be there to make it official. Ah, uh, good. How yeah. ma who makes the graham crackers? Oh, Red Hand Bakery. Of course. Yep. Rabble Rouse makes the chocolate calls. And we buy the marshmallows. Mm -hmm. Is that it? You could make homemade marshmallows too. too. Yeah, we experimented with that. That didn't work for us. Yeah. <laughs> kind of messy. Uh, no, she's not. So, you want me to hang out? Yeah, I see you got a pretty full agenda. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome to hang out. <laughs> Keep us company. Yeah. We're looking for, yeah, we're looking for company. <laughs> Oh my goodness. No, that's the, that sounds good to me. I mean, yeah. 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 No, that's that's that. that's all right. no, I'm I mean, our you know our our only issue is just the horror of some heaven forbid some kid. Uh, we thought the know. same thing. Well, no, you right. know what I was more worried about was that blazing uh, maze, <laughs> some kid getting caught in it, but it didn't. Oh, some kid, kid was in asleep that, in there. Yes, yeah, the, sleeping oh. in the maze. They, we'll never know, will we? <laughs> <laughs> they checked that thing inside. I know, I was picturing like someone she, going by with a lighter while everyone's inside it. <laughs> I was like, oh, Jesus. And a worst case scenario, that's what I do. I, yeah. I know. Go, you, to, the, you, go to the worst case. Go to the worst case scenario. Yes. Yeah, you expressed that. Yeah. <laughs> that <night>. Wow. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, well let's keep the let's keep the lines of communication <coughs> over yeah. and it would be yeah. great as the, as the time gets nearer um, just to come back and tell us where your plans are so yeah. we can know uh, yeah. what's keep going on. Keep you guys on. informed. Yeah, that would be great. Well, maybe you have a better idea. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I already talked about okay. by having some sort of walking lane. You know? I mean, that's I, that could be key. Yeah. All right. All right. Good. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for coming right. down. Oh, thanks, thanks for having keep me. Keep up the good work. Say hi to Susan and teach her the floss. I will. Take care. Thanks, Mike. Treasure report. Action likely. I don't think I have anything. What was that, Mike? Are these flowers for me? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll take them. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, look what I found. <laughs> don't you dare. Don't you dare. I don't think I have so anything. So is that... Move approval of the September 24th minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? I don't mean to cut you off, but I mean, I figure we can move other things if Doreen is jogging her mind. Patty no, just left. No, she's, she's, she's doing notes. our minutes for so. us. Yes. Any correspondence, Sarah? There was that letter from uh, Kingsbury. Oh, there's a letter from Kingsbury. Uh, which is I missed that. It was in the email. Copy. It came oh, like last minute. Me. Oh, I didn't, I didn't check my emails. It came this morning. It was about <coughs> using solar. Well, but he's, uh, so I gather what he's doing, which I didn't know. Here's here's all the stuff. If anybody wants to look at it. Um, is he wants to put up, you know, storage buildings up there. Mm -hmm. 
and I gather he wants to put solar panels on top, mm -hmm. and somehow most of the electricity from those so solar panels, ironically, is dedicated to Harwood Union. So I don't know how that works, but they worked out some yeah. kind of a they do that. deal, yeah. right? But he's saying that potentially there is more power, power that could be available for the town of Middlesex or whatever. Now, what I don't know is, and Sarah isn't here, so there's no update, is where the whole permit process, zoning, yeah, I have no idea. blah, blah, See, blah. That, is this the same one or is yeah. it different? It's the same site. Well, yeah, I, I think we have to pass over it, don't we? Well, I think well, we should not, pass we're over not, it. We're not this doing anything. For our information, there's no action to be. There's just correspondence for us to look at. I, I can update you because I'm on the ZBA and we had a joint hearing with the planning group. Yep. So, um, you know, it was a, it was good. We went up, did a site visit, to listen to what his plans are. <clears throat> um, one of the buildings is supposed to be a, again a research and development building. Um, and then the rest of the storage, and then there's some issue about is this rental storage, or is it storage for the R&D space? Um, what are they R&Ding? They don't know. It's like... Are they going to rent it? Assuming or build the suit. Um, we asked him um, for a lot of other uh, documentation that he didn't provide that night, so he has sent that to Sandy, and she just is getting that out to us. Sarah's going to make hard, it's, well, actually Sandy asked him for hard copies and she's going to mail that out. I think, uh, you know, when I saw this come in, you know, I don't think we should consider this at all while it's in the hearing phase. Right? I think it's inappropriate. Well, there isn't, there's, not, there's, there's, there's nothing, nothing no. for us to do anyway. Right, no. right. That's right. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Right. So until there's a, you know, uh, he gets his um, approval from the planning, uh, board and then ZBA looks at this. I mean, there's still there's still a big issue the about. The issue is whether it's a permitted use, even a conditional use, right. isn't it? Right. Right. So well, and there's not. When I mean, he it's gets clear. his permit, the issue he's really banking on is the issue that has to do with Mitch and the, the timeline. Right. Okay. Right. Um, and that's something. Uh, this makes it seems like he's already gotten the approval and he's just letting yeah. us know. Yeah. And I think it's a mistake for us to do it. Exactly. Well, we're, no. not we're not asking us to do anything. We're not doing anything. So, yeah, that's where it stands. Uh, now that these documents are in, uh, we have a certain amount of time to come back together and look at them. And then if we want to continue the hearing, you know, have him come back and explain any of them. It's, so, it's got a month and a half or two what, months left to play out. Why is you're asking for more stuff if it's not a permitted use? Well, planning board asked for some stuff for their purposes for the site plan. Um, so it's, it was a joint hearing. So some of it, a lot of it actually is for them. For us, they're those two issues as far as the, the conditional use. So we felt like we would go. We had Rob Halpert there. Um, and the sense was that we were going to conduct uh, a hearing on the merits uh, anyway, because uh, they were they were proceeding along the line of there is no reason for a hearing on the merits because you missed the timeline. It's deemed approved. And we said no, 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 no. Let's back up. Um, we're not accepting that. That's a that's a finding of law. Um, we may end up having to go to environmental court to figure that out. But while we're here, let's have a hearing on the merits anyway, because the planning commission needs to deal with certain issues for the site. So that's where we stand right now. Uh, we'll be coming back together, I don't know, probably later in the month. And where does the environmental court thing stand? Uh, mm -hmm. Right now it's kind of on hold. Kind of, or they put in a formal motion? They did put in a formal motion, but I think Rob basically had talked to them and said, you know, we're having a hearing on this, you know, it may get resolved. It was kind of like, you know, let's not move forward real so, really quickly. But I mean, it's, yeah, so it's, 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 it's formally, it's, filed. it's yeah. formally, but I mean, it's formally stayed, motion stayed. I think so. That was my understanding. So, that's so the hope is. If it's not a permitted use, then it's not a conditional use. Mm -hmm. Why have the hearing? How is it going to be resolved? Well, we're going to, if it's not that, and the zoning board 
uh, determines that we're going to rule that it's not a conditional use, so we're going to deny the application. Or we might, in fact, um, approve parts of it, like the R&D facility, but not the storage. Right. So it could be split a split decision, at which point then, if we approve part of it, but not another part, I'm assuming he's going to want to go forward and have his day in court with the environmental board. Um, we, you know, we also have to make a determination about his deemed approval status, um, which is the toughest part. The ZBA's never, never done this before, so it's a little walking on ice. I mean, usually we're dealing just with our own zoning regs. This is now a finding of fact. Well, Rob is going to help so, you with uh, that. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. so, so an R and D center is, in fact, a permitted use up there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Has R and D always been in their initial application? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I want to be careful how I say this. Thank you. <laughs> She's your conscience. So, so if she is, I, I, I saw her lining up her foot to give me a yeah. kick. So, I, <laughs> well, she's got her hands on her face like yeah, really. you know, yeah. That's a, just okay. quickly, right out, smack him. No, 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 here it comes. This is all right. This is all right. So if he says that it is storage uh -huh. for the R&D facility, uh -huh. that would potentially be a permitted use, correct? Uh, potentially. Yeah. And then six months later, it morphs into something else. I'm concerned the R&D could possibly, since it's going to be finished to specifications, turn into something else, too. Could. Well, one of the things that we asked a lot That's just a big of, open space. Right. We asked a lot of questions about um, was, so what kind of R&D? I don't know. Yeah. And um, the ZBA made the point of saying, well, if it's incubator space, if it's R&D, we think it needs to fall under one of the either um, appropriate uses or conditional uses. So in a way, we kind of need to know what it's going to be once you determine that. So we might hold this open until you have a tenant. Well, the ZBA and, then want to rule and, the, and or the Planning Commission could put conditions. conditions. Yep. If could they, say if, could say R and D is R and D is fine, but but it has to be either a permitted or conditional use. Yeah. It can't all of a sudden be right. Who right. knows what? Right. And we want to make we might want to leave this open until you have somebody who wants um, to do something with the space, and then you come back to us and tell us what that's going to be. Right. Right. Well, I'm sure you guys are going to handle it. Yeah. It's just, it's just, and, I, yeah. and Rob is on top of yeah. it, that. Yeah. So. so that's, yeah, that's yeah. where we stand. Okay. Well, let's, yeah. I mean, and then so, and the solar, by the way, is out of our hands. That's um, the PUC. Right. So that really, we got, took that off the table because that was one of his things was the solar thing. Although he said, well, that goes hand in hand with the storage because it's going to be on top. And we said, well, we're not, we have no authority to rule on the solar, so you could put that in, just not on the buildings. Well, but they all go together. Well, that, you know, that's up to you. That's your problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, a mm -hmm. whole lot of unanswered questions. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. does he have to get a certificate of public good? Is that what they're, you're saying? I think he might. On 248 the, on the, permit? On the solar. Okay. Is that what it is? So, yeah. are you yeah. saying that we don't have any, with, with solar, we don't have, as a town, like... Do we have no. any? We have no, no authority. Control, no authority. It's supposed to be in conformance with our town plan, though. Yes. Right. But we're not the ones to rule on it. You know, so, so, we, so, like, if somebody wanted to put in a giant solar array on their land, as long as... As long as they can get the... Um, public service. Public yeah, utility. Public service, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. To rule. Yeah. And but that problem, they've already filed. They had already filed. But you could, you could yes. weigh in on whether it's a permitted... Yeah. Permitted under the town plan. Yeah. I mean, that wouldn't be the worst site in the world for a 
It's great. Right. Solar you can't see, I mean, I'd rather see that good. than in a, in a cornfield where we all have yeah. to look at it every day right. when we drive by. It's well, up in the woods. It's on the roof. You'd never see it. How about the, the field <laughs> where we get off the <laughs> interstate? Colby Farm. Yeah. Yeah. Is the wind the same? Wind, wind towers, are those also the same? I think so. Yeah. Yes. I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, and I think that's one of those things where the um, the PUC took that over because a lot of places had put them in fairly restrictive zoning requirements, restrictive. right, to keep things out. Mm -hmm. And so there were, in fact, projects that they were feeling, you know, were viable. Um, and so that kind of got taken out of our, our hands. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it's going to be interesting to see yeah. how this all evolves because yeah. I... I am skeptical that there's going to be a happy resolution to this. Yeah. I'm skeptical. Yeah. What? That even if I'm skeptical and based on what you've told me about his reputation, that it would actually be an R&D building if it were approved. Well, well they're, going to put up, they're going to put up a, if they put up a spec building, they'll try and rent it to anybody who's willing to rent it. Yeah. And, you know, that's where, you know, when you, and I'm not sure how it would work in Middlesex, but I presume they would have to apply for a change of use if all of a sudden it was something that wasn't permitted. Right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Well, they'd have to apply for a change of use anyway. If it wasn't permitted, the right. application would be denied. Right. Application. Yeah. For a change of use. Like, let's say, it, let's but say you don't they're know, saying. I mean, has his history been that he complies with local regulations? Absolutely not. Okay, so <laughs> that's what I'm he saying. He does, he, he acts first and then asks for forgiveness. So that's right. So that he could be an R&D building and something else, and then he applies after it's all outfitted. Yeah, but I don't even understand. I mean, I, you know, R&D could mean anything from, you know, petrochemical engineering to could mean anything. I, I don't know. understand how we can even have that. I thought there was something around this. CBD. Am I just making that up? I don't know. <laughs> Are you hopeful? <laughs> no, I just thought there was, that was there. What was in the back of their mind. Well, wait a second. Around well, this are, you, or are you thinking about the last phase that he did, which was with uh, Patients Alliance? Maybe. Where they, they, yeah. they're building a whole new that's, building that's for them? A, where is marijuana, that? Yeah, growing, marijuana. That growing facility, though. Mm -hmm. That is they not want a, it, that's Is not that a, another application? Yeah, that one's done. It's, they've that's broken done. ground. Really? And that's there? Yeah. yeah. In that same area? Yeah, it's a separate building. Okay, yeah. All right, so that's what I'm thinking yeah. of. Yeah. That was one of the best proposals I've ever seen. The Vermont Patients Alliance people. Yeah. I mean, they had their... <laughs> oh, that's right. We had a joint... We had a joint meeting, yeah. and that was... They well, had they, their stuff together. They sure did. Yeah. Well, they so did. Who are, who's involved in that? Uh, apparently, that company's owned primarily by doctors at UVM who are doing a lot of this research. This is their fourth facility, yeah, right? And so. what are they doing at the facility? Selling? Growing. They, Just growing. growing? They grow. Secure growing medical, facility. For medical marijuana. Oh, yeah. right. So okay. is it a big greenhouse up there? Or Essentially, it? yeah. I mean, it's not there. They just broke ground. Okay, but that's what's going to yeah. be there. Yeah, that's what's going to be there. I yeah. feel like I'm on another planet. I like the weather, like, and it's, like, fully, you know, for the winter and everything, it's uh -huh. going to be a... There'll you know, be different growing. phases. Yeah. I think it's it's planned for maybe three greenhouses by how the time much they is there, How much is the ta are the taxes going to be on? I don't know. Charlie, Real money. Here. Yeah. Is it going to create some jobs, too? Possibly. They won't go to Middlesex people. They'll go to other people. Well, Although, yeah, they've probably got people already, you know, because yeah. they do have grow facilities in right. other places, and they're right. closing. I think wasn't the intention to close some of the others and How consolidate. How big is it going to be? No, oh, I forgot. Oh, geez, where I it is. A lot. <laughs> Decent size. So when size. did you guys approve that? In the summer? Oh, my goodness. Last. No, no, no. No, a while ago. No. Over a year ago. Yeah, that's Over a year ago, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah, last summer, maybe. It was hot. We had the yeah, agriculture. Yeah, you that. can't say no to agriculture. Yeah. No, I yeah. no, and it was a great proposal, and the, and yeah. the kind of thing that really was. In fact, I mean, we yeah. had some conditions. Yeah. Both. Yeah. Yeah. And again, what like you're saying, if there's a change, because this is an organic facility, uh, the water's all recycled. It's really, really well thought out as far as you know, green building and wow. um, stuff. So that was one of the things we were concerned about: is that if if there was a change in use, or if they sold it. And it was to move from organic growing to you know high chemical growing, like where they've had problems in, in mm -hmm. Colorado and other places, that that would be a change of use. They'd have to come back to the 
right the commission so we said you know yeah because the organic thing it was it was good yeah. with, without all yeah. the chemicals and is it stuff. certified organic I think so. Oh, so yeah. they put the application in, but how did they hook up with Kingsbury? They actually bought a piece of the land from Kingsbury. Well, the Kingsbury actually put the permit, applied for the permit because right. they wanted to make sure that they could be permitted before they bought the property from it. Kingsbury. So they had, yeah, they they had, had an option to purchase it. Right, exactly. Yeah. But, but anyway, it was, a, it was well done. But yeah. so who's investing in it? Somebody says to be investing in building the building. It's the Vermont Patients Alliance, whoever the owners are. Yeah. Oh, really? One of them not, was there it's that not some, night. not like, non-profit thing that's... Probably, yeah. Well, or, a, or a research. Or, or, or yeah. Yeah. profit. <laughs> yeah, well, it could, yeah, it could be profit, yeah. right? Um, but they're not, they're not going to get involved with commercial growth. It's going to stay strictly in the medical realm. That's what they all say. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you've been to Maine recently, it's all the downtown Maine. buildings are now outfitted with all sorts of lights, and they're turning are into they? growth yeah. spaces. Yeah. There's lots of them all bet. over. Well, the other the other comment I would make, which is a, a, a different subject, is just amazing to me to see all the hemp that's getting grown. Oh, I know. And that's for CBD. But, I mean, there are more that can be pro they can't process all of it. Right. I don't, I'm wondering about that too. I feel like it's now we're oversaturated with hemp. Yeah. Yeah. Here's yeah. Sarah. Well, the guy that's that's doing a lot of that. I can't there? think of his name. Oh, it's the one in Plainfield, the infomercial yeah. guy. Yeah, the the Anthony. one in Plainfield. Mm -hmm. I mean, he bought. Um, Hi, Sarah. The Hi, Sarah. ice. Sarah. Hi. Hey. We're Welcome. Done. Almost done. Yeah. 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 Um, Bad timing on my part. Yeah. No, you, yeah. No, that's good Go timing. back and get in your car. Okay. Forget, that yeah. you Forget that you were here. <laughs> I'll drink the thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Okay. The hemp that, yeah, we that's. For a minute. So, we'll probably have So, the other thing I just wanted to bring up quickly, and you, and you saw it in the minutes, is I made the decision upon hearing the news story the day after we agreed to write that letter to the state. I wanted to ask you that, yeah. Oh. Not to send the letter. Why? Because. They made the decision that he's going to stay in jail until his trial. Oh, right. so he's not going to come down. He's yeah. not coming. Oh. He, was already, he was already there. He was? He's been there. Yes. That isn't what the no. That's exactly what was in so. the news. He's been there. The cops came in, got him there, and he's took still him there? To jail. No, he's no, not there. Oh, back to jail. So he was there and then. Oh, I didn't I didn't catch that. I thought he was no, I didn't catch that either. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah, so we didn't there. send a letter. Now, at some point in time, if he comes back, we can send a letter. Maybe we should send a letter anyway and just say we're aware that he was here and now he's back, but, you know, we want to say that we object to him being there. I don't know. I mean, they're not going to pay any attention to us anyway. I know, so. but I think we should be on record. But, I mean, if I'm the only one. No, I agree. I think we should be on record. Well, let's... When you have a few minutes. I'll do it tomorrow. Let's do the letter. Okay. Okay. Short and sweet, right? Short and sweet. And I would I would say in the letter that um, according to the news story, he was actually there, even though he isn't there now. We believe. Okay. We understand. Yeah. Understand, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, that's a better better choice of words. Editorial week. That gives them the option of saying you misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> no, they'll just say we can't confirm anything. Thanks for yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. We can either confirm okay. or, or deny. deny. Don't, right. don't we know anyone who works there? Isn't there anybody that no. we know? They're not going well, to tell us whether they're we in there. We are not supposed to know who's there. Right. So unless they apply to register to vote. Right. Yeah. Right. We don't know if they're there. I wondered how you knew all that. The... You know what? I watched the news. I watched it said the right news. on the news. Well, who watches the news I heard except the, you? I heard the morning news story. Was yeah, it was no, a longer was, story than the night before? There was a longer story about oh, that okay. afterwards. I read it but in the paper. But he was there. And okay, well, I didn't yeah, want to see before. that. Okay. Yeah. And then the case got dropped or something, and then they she came in and prove, got him. She didn't, couldn't provide anyone to say right. he was sane. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and that's right. when they did what they did. Anything else, anyone? So when's our next meeting? We're back 15. on the regular. 15th. The fire department's coming to that one. 
Oh, That's the ready. budget. So I gather, uh, again, shifting over to another subject, I gather we found the plans for the town garage and the specs. I found them. Ah, good. We have an old folder that Mark and I were racking our brains, and then we remembered we'd done that thing where a couple of years ago we found these <coughs> documents that were in the file. We're like, oh my God, we've got to put these in the vault. Don't ever do that. Don't ever move things. Okay. <laughs> so we found them in the vault. I know where we found them. Yeah. Where did we put them? Yeah. yeah. Right. Should have just left them in the cabinet. Yeah. So, yes, there you go. Okay, in the so area. hopefully that okay. will reduce the cost of that uh, yeah. of that little project. Anything else from you? Any no, update on the late on? No. Thing? I mean, okay. the good news is that I've been keeping the the, uh, the meter out here, and the and it's everything seems to be fine in this in the common room. So it's not like a threat to the public when they come in. It's just in that vault. That's okay. all it is. You mean the radon? Yeah. The radon, yeah. Um, and that, I don't know. It's been did, did you contact any of those consultants? You know, I can't find that email. Oh, you mean the uh, radon consultant? Yeah. No, I don't do that. But what, do you send me another I, email? I'll send you another. Yeah, I had okay. two. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll find that. Yeah. I don't know. Pretty much proper course. Nothing really since uh, last Tuesday. I know. Time, goes, <laughs> time flies by pretty fast. Yep. Okay. So did you get the draft done on your book? Oh, thanks. Then I've got more to go. But that's okay. But thank you for asking. We are adjourned. Meeting you. Thank you. Good night.